Hey, it, can I, is this, is the math correct? So 215 outstanding, there's a, about a 55% difference. Is that right there? Like I got 110K, yeah, am I 150, correct? Yeah. Something. What? 110, 150? Okay, like okay, that's all I want to see. That, it's, it's, on the, it's on the board. It's on and the board. It's they could be yeah. even bluer than this. They could be, they could be, they could be yeah, bluer definitely. than that. In this clip, Destiny reacts live to Donald Trump's win in the 2024 presidential election during his election stream party. Destiny started off hopeful bringing plenty of energy and optimism, convinced that Kamala Harris might still pull off a comeback. But as the night went on, that optimism started to fade. I've clipped moments from before and after Trump's win, capturing the anticipation, the reactions, and the reality settling in. Let's watch how it all unfolds. 210,000 votes up is what we need. We still have some bag it. Montgomery, York. Okay, watch. Right, okay, let's do some real math. Come come back out here. Show me what we need. Okay. Let's think. Let's think. Yeah. Come back out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Hang on. Okay. We need show, show me. Okay. We need two hundred thousand up from this, right? So one point two million is six hundred K um plus two hundred K. So we need eight hundred K of fourteen. That's what we need, right? What is that? Is that 60, uh, 6%? Something like that. 8 of 14? No, it's less than that. We don't even need that. We need like 60%, right? Yeah, but we have to look 50, at the counties. 60%. That's really Bro, that's, wrong. we're still on a, we're on a good run. We're still on a good run there. We're still a little less than 60%, I think, maybe. So right now the win probability for Pennsylvania is 63 to 37. Not in our favor. Okay, but that's way better than the whatever other bullshit we've seen tonight, okay? Okay, so we only need like six, like around 58% of the outstanding vote, I think. About Show me, wait, show me the top county that's outstanding there. Show me that in Pennsylvania. We need like 58, I think. Did somebody try to do this? 64, 57? You need 57%. Okay, okay, show me Philadelphia. Show me bigger, bigger than 57. Wait a second. Fuck. No, no, that's not. He's trolling. Okay, that's good. Yeah, show me, show me, good. The, show me number two. Show me number two. Was number two a good one, or is that one we skipped? That's good. Is that number two? Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then show me number three. Is donated fifty dollars. I would like to then all left just for not. Was three? Uh, Box in York. Give me a second. Box in York. Okay. Show me three. 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 We're gonna fucking be here till okay, that's okay. We don't need him. We don't need him. Uh huh. It doesn't tip. Where it's less votes as well. X, it's just chill. It's close. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it's your. Okay. It's, it's close. It's close. Isn't it's it? still it's close. Well, it's close. Okay. Yeah, it's currently 85% win probability for Trump and 50% for Harris. Show me the top two again. Let me do more math. Let's do more math. Show me the top two. Show me the top two. For, for what? Top two. Top two outstanding Pennsylvania. Let's add them up. Let's count how many votes we got. We need 200K all day. We do. Okay, bring me up number one. Bring me up number one. First county. We need 200K. That's all we need, baby. That's all we need is 200K. That's fine. Let's look at Philadelphia again. Okay. This one is Okay. It, can I? Is this? Is the math correct? So 215 outstanding. There's a, about a 55 percent difference. Is that right there? Like I got 110k. Am I correct? Yeah. Something. What? 110, 150. Okay. Okay. That's all I want to see. That it's it's on the it's on the board. And they could be even bluer than this. They they could be they could be bluer than that. Maybe whole like. Because they have to recover all the burnt ballots that yeah, they uh, sent for Historically, uh, okay. tons of blue right, voters that come in for the walk-ins. Wait for the results. Okay. My it's fellow Americans, hard, but... Big D here. Destiny, you're still on Reckful's couch. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, open. <laughs> That's a good one. Wow. Because he's on drugs. <laughs> yeah. <I'm> tripping. Wow. <sighs> I think we've got Philadelphia. I need to be confident in my call. I did call it. 57% of the rest of the votes. That's so easy. That's like not even a challenge. It's not even like I've been married close. a long time ago. Don't get too close. It's close. Don't remember, at the end of the day, whatever happens, it's good for Israel. Okay. <laughs> Harris campaign said an hour ago, we feel good about what we're seeing good. still with the blue wall. So they're not. Bro, that's what Biden said before he won. Yeah, we got to count the vote. If you're enjoying this type of content, please like and subscribe. It really helps bring you more videos like this. Now, let's get back into it. They control the courts. They control both houses of Congress and they control the presidency. Again. <laughs> Again. Trump had this one time before, right? To so, be fair, he so didn't we'll do anything see, last so, time. So, at, <laughs> when at, he, when at he had this all point, the failures of Trumpism, the failures of 
of Trump and the Republicans are. But there. remember, so, at the end of the day, the biggest failures were of the Democrats. True. Because it was our fault, Josiah. Don't ever forget that. <laughs> no, for what? For what? <laughs> for failing to communicate our case to the American people. <laughs> well, what do you want to say? What, what I agree. I'm agreeing with you. I think it's. I feel like it's partial meme, though. I mean, like there's. There's a self-reflection that needs to happen. I agree, absolutely. If he wins the, let's we're gonna reflect. He's ahead that. in the popular vote. I know, yeah. five mil. Yeah, that's a reflective moment. You can't blame Jill Stein for any of those guys. True, that's not Jill Stein. This that's is not the, the third party has nothing to do with this election. Nothing. Kamala was just fucking. Pistol, what do you think? What do you think it means after all that he's done and the fact that he's never been a particularly popular figure? I mean, his approval ratings and favorability ratings were still below Harris's. If he squeaks out with a popular vote win and the Electoral College win, what do you think that says about this country? Nothing worth dwelling on. They're just stupid. <laughs> the people, half the country is dumb. That's it. Well, well. I mean, they're, if you. I. I don't we, know. We, we can't go that far. I think really. You can really hear the mix of energy and panic in Destiny's voice as he reacts to the election results. At one point, he mentions a tweet from Kamala Harris's team saying everything was looking good, but it's pretty clear they probably knew the real numbers weren't in their favor. They likely had internal data showing the reality well before the public did. Watching Destiny's reaction as his confidence shifts is something else. It's like you can see the moment the hope fades. Let me know how you think Destiny felt seeing his candidate lose to Donald Trump. If you're enjoying this, hit that like button and let's jump back in. I think he spoke to their grievances more than the Democrats did. Really? That's pretty much it. Yeah. Like they felt he connected with their grievances more, obviously, than Kamala did. I, I, do you agree with that, Steve? Well, you my mic, so all, oh, all feel free. Oh, I thought you were going to drop something insightful. All right, well, well the, the real story will be told, um, I think, in the, in the demographic shifts. Um, for Trump, um, I, there might there is a world where, and it's uh, it's possible that we can just never know the answer. There is a world where the answer is actually incredibly fucking boring, and the reality is, is just post COVID, whoever was president was going to lose because of how fucked the world was for the first like year or two and all the recovery after. Um, I mean, it's hard to say who knows, but because like, how do you even begin to tease all that out? Um, yeah. I think the biggest yeah, lesson the here, though. In is that being a woman is the biggest crime you can commit. Remember that. It doesn't matter. You lost your mic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is, that is possible, but who knows? Yeah, you know, who knows? Damn, I thought she ran a good campaign, too, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's tough. It's hard to say if anybody ran a good or bad campaign. Like, it's, well, Trump's campaign is insane. I mean, but, I mean, like, she has, like, a limited amount of time. Everything is, like, crazy, yeah. a historic, and... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do we all think that, for sure, Biden would have done worse? I think he would have done worse. I, I, it's really hard to say. No, here's the thing. I think he might have had a good... If you believe Joe Biden has been the best president of your lifetime, unless you're quite young, it's worth considering some of the issues that have come up. From unfulfilled student loan promises to the Keystone Pipeline shutdown and the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan, there have been no shortage of controversial decisions. And now, with Kamala Harris's loss to Donald Trump in the 2024 election, it seems many voters weren't convinced by the heavy criticisms against Trump or the usual fear-based messaging. Harris's approach focused on pointing out problems, while Trump's resonated as offering solutions. What are your thoughts on this outcome? Drop a comment, like if you're enjoying this, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates.